Our boy Mash has gotten away without using magic by brute forcing everything, and so far it's kind of working. This dude took a piece of paper, all the words were moving, and he told him to stop, and they all stopped. There's this goofy, dorky element to this show where everything just kind of makes sense, but I bet Dumbledore, you know, the headmaster looking dude, he understands to a degree what's going on, but he won't stitch. How long is he going to be able to get away with this? Let's begin today's reaction. Ride a broom. We're going to fly. How is he going to fly? Th like, you can't fake this. Uh, unless he jumps and just like there may be there maybe there's a course and he just jumps the entire course or maybe he just jumps so high he just looks like he's floating you gotta call your broom <laughs> it's not moving <laughs> maybe he can intimidate the broom if it's sentient come on come on <laughs> if he's so strong couldn't he like i don't know Use like the force of air to bring the broom up or something. Oh, well, this guy's talking shit already. Oh, this guy's talking shit already. It's mm. clap. It. Yeah, <laughs> that works. <too. laughs> you said fly after it came up. <laughs> oh, I mean, it kind of worked. Is he really just gonna jump faster than anybody can fly? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get a new slave. Okay, yeah, let's do it. You're okay. This kid's gonna get our, you know, cream puffs for us for the future now. Really? You wanna do this against the main character? All right. Oh, wow. From middle school. Oh, okay. Okay, Mr. Elite. You know he's gonna get swept because he's having this monologue before. Like, bro. Yeah, we broke that log. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Is he really just gonna jump? Oh. What? He? Huh? Wait, wait. I. What? What happened? <laughs> oh, world record! What did he do? Did he just really just move so fast? Nobody can see what happens. Give me a slow replay. He chucked the and then he landed. On. Bro, is this? Uh, I mean, we are flying, right? This is flying, kind of, I guess. What is he? Some kind of super elite here that bullies people? No, no, no. These two are the victims. Sure. Lloyd Cavill. Nice to meet you. Look at this fake ass smile. No, Lloyd Cavill. <laughs> How did you get spud cabbage out of that? You want to scrap? Oh, he wants to fight? Let's do it. Alright. <laughs> Dude, match is just so out of work. He's like, huh. Huh. Okay. Wow, nepotism. Oh, wow. My father will hear about this. Draco Malfoy looking ass. Match definitely doesn't know that. Nope. Come on, explain to us, though. Hmm, really? <laughs> Even his dad, dude. Like, he, they just look like the biggest snakes. But... No, Dumbledore would vouch for us. I doubt that the headmaster would expel us just because Lloyd's dad says some shit. Nah. Cream puffs. Does he make his own cream puffs? What? <laughs> nice apron. What? I thought he went and bought those cream puffs. He makes them himself? Pretty good. Yeah, you said come. <laughs> he ghosted him? <laughs> come meet me after class. This dude ghosted him? I want Mash to fuck him up. Ugh! Look at this fake ass smile. Make cream puffs. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You should have said. <laughs> he really did say it. Yes, cream puffs are important. Would you like one? Wow, my father, my father. Shut the fuck up, bitch. What do you got yourself? Nah. Oh really? Well, this is just like the innocent, pure-minded, you know, Mash. Disagreeing. Okay. Is he really gonna do this? You know, Mash doesn't have this level of pride or like arrogance. He will just do it. Like, he doesn't think that this is be like beneath him. That's the interesting thing about Mash. Oh, he made cream puffs for him. Have some, dude. Hmm? 
that you're my friend. Oh, yo, this is gonna make Finn feel really guilty. He's gotta like feel like he's gotta speak up now, right? Cause so far, he's not really being a friend. He he's looking out for himself, you know. And that's that's perfectly logical. Cause everybody's scared of this kid. But maybe Finn will step up. Let's see. Is he gonna pour this on his head? Okay, I thought he poured it on Mash's head. I spilled some- BITCH! Who are you trying to fool? Mash. Fuck him up, we don't- No, let him cook. Let him cook. We will have our revenge, you know. These- This bottle- This feeling right now we're feeling? No, this is gonna build up to something. <laughs> Even his wiping skills are so good. <laughs> oh, wait, he's stepping up. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow, he actually opened his eyes. What kind of magic is this? Some kind of like string magic? He did like close that guy's lips before. Such a nice guy. I think that's Finn getting beat up. If he sees his friend getting beat up like this, no, he won't stand. He won't allow this. He won't allow this. Come on. Don't you dare say everything is fine. Mash. Mash. Look who's saying that. That's our good friend Finn. Come on. No, he's going to act like everything is fine. Everybody is so cucked here because of Lloyd. I was the one that ruined your textbook. You know? At least he's coming clean right now. Poor kid. Imagine how guilty he felt. And he even made a cream puffs. Oh no! The cream puffs pushed him over the edge. Come on. Come on, stand up for your friend! Fuck you, dude! I hate you! I hate it. I keep bringing up the, you know, the vice principal, the vice principal. Shut the fuck up, bitch. If you disrespect Finn... No, no, no. You can disrespect me all you want, but the moment you disrespect our friend, this is a shonen main character moment! More! More! Too thin. Oh! The instant replay! <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. Usually I hate these like repeated replay moments in like Shonen series, but that was perfect. <laughs> Double what? Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, uh, Dumbledore's on her side. Fuck the vice principal, dude. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta become the divine vision. <laughs> I love that epic soundtrack to start playing immediately as you realize. <laughs> oh, wow, it's the actual vice principal. Fuck him up, too. Grab his head and smack him in the ground, too. No. Let's do a violent attack on the teacher. No, the, the vice principal. No, no, fuck him up right now. Different status. I know what he's trying to say, that we're like peasants, and that he's supposed to be like an elite noble, but I think that we're on a different class in terms of power. Fuck. Ooh! No shot! He really- I was just kidding. I, s I was just kidding. I- I didn't think it actually fuck him up. This, this is kind of true. Let's just go all the way. You know, it's it's already too late. Let's come on, kill him then. Just kill him then. Mm -mm. No, Dumbledore's got her back. No way. No shot. <laughs> is he digging his grave? What is he doing? He's not actually digging his grave, is he? No, really? In his mind, if we just bury him, then no one can say anything, right? I was just joking, dude. But Mash really took this seriously. Yeah. 
What a threat! I will kill you. This dude is blackmailing a vice principal. And I think he understands that this can be probably done. Like... And, you know? Logically, this does make sense. I didn't think he'd actually follow through, though. Are we in trouble? Hi, headmaster, you know. Oh, come on! We're protecting our friend. That too. <laughs> oh, we're protecting our friend, man! <laughs> Third replay. Yeah, we buried the vice principal. <laughs> actually buried him! Huh. So the borough controls this country, pretty much. And isn't Brad, like, pretty high up there, too? Oh. Oh, who are these dudes? Come on. You'll, you'll let it pass, right? Come on. Hmm? See? Dude, he is such a Dumbledore. If you've seen Harry Potter in the movie, Harry and his gang always did the most fucked up shit that broke all the rules and Dumbledore will be like Harry you broke all these fucking laws I should punish you but fuck that nah you nah, you do you man nah all the points to Gryffindor he's doing the same shit so the principal really does want to like uproot the status quo I would assume that he would one day become a target then because a lot of people don't want the status quo to be you know uprooted Right? <laughs> yeah. Represent Adler Dorn. Oh, I like this guy. Whoa, who is this? Tom Knowles. This guy's really fire. Oh, Lord Tom. The Duello. Oh, he's got quite a bit of his sheer squad, huh? Oh, come on. He's good looking. What do you mean? People keep calling him Mushroom Head. Uh, like, I think his haircut's fine. Yeah, what's a duelo? Brooms. What is this? Some kind of like Quidditch? But that's different. That's like a race. Like, if we have to stay in air, I'm not sure if that. I don't know. Maybe he can continue throwing the broom and get on it and stuff. I like this guy though. I like Tom a lot. Yo, what are these lines? I mean, he said. I mean, he already admitted, but we'll see. Is this really Quidditch? It's basically sports ball, but on brooms. Mash is probably still on the ground, right? We can't fly! It, 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 what are we supposed to do? Like, if it's a race, that's a different story. But like, prolonged flight is different. I think everybody expected Mash to fuck up Lloyd. Like, that was a given, right? But then him actually burying the vice principal? I was just joking. I was like, hey, we, we know we can get rid of the evidence if we just kill him right now. He was actually trying to. This is why Mash is unhinged and I love it. We're actually playing Quidditch at the end, but we can't fly. How are we going to solve this? I have no clue. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.